What's up, everybody? I just felt like I had to make this video. You know, uh, a couple friends of mine, a couple of my coworkers, and uh, let's just say an associate has been asking me uh, all in the same week. You know, man, where do you get your news from, and how do you know you're right? The crazy thing is, is it really doesn't matter at this point where you're watching it. Just Take your mind off of what they're talking about and pay attention to the actual, right? Doesn't matter if it's Fox, NBC, all those liberal networks, all the conservative. It really doesn't matter because if you look at this video, this is the day Trump signed uh, the corporate bailout. Most people still think that it is a stimulus package, but it isn't. It's a corporate bailout. That's all it is. So look, we're watching this video. This is the day he signs the uh, the stimulus check. This was March 27th, 2020. Now just watch. Pay attention. Well, thank you is a very important day. I'll sign the single biggest economic relief package in American history, and I must say, or any other package, by the way. It's twice as large as any relief ever signed. It's uh, $2.2 billion, but it actually goes up to $6.2 potentially billion dollars, trillion dollars. So you're talking about... Now, he just said billion and then trillion, right? Because they know that what they're doing is evil, this is not going to help in the future. As soon as he signed this thing, the money in your pocket lost so much value, it's ridiculous. It's called inflation. It's called evil. Now, notice another thing. Not only did he try to cover up the whole trillion part, but let's just keep paying attention. Got about a $6.2 trillion bill, nothing like that. And this will deliver urgently needed relief to our nation's families, workers, and businesses. And uh, that's what this is all about. And it got a 96 to nothing. And I don't know, what was the number in uh, Congress? What was the voice? Was the voice, voice wow. was yep. fantastic. I think it's just as close. That's pretty amazing. That's about the same thing, right, Kevin? I yes. Think. So that's fantastic. But I want to thank Republicans and Democrats. Our business is strong, and our big business is strong. And that's keeping our country strong. Now, take a look. Mind you, he just signed, this is Donald Trump, the president, he just signed a stimulus package, quote-unquote, which is really a corporate bailout, uh, because this pandemic is so bad, it's so gonna kill you and your family, it's horrible, right? But what do we see here? What? Pay close attention. I'm looking at one, two... Three, four, Mike Pence, five, six. I'm looking at six dudes all within six feet of each other, all within six inches of each other. It doesn't matter if you're conservative, a liberal, just the truth is usually right in front of us, right? This pandemic was so bad and so toxic and so whatever that all six of these men are within six inches of each other. There's not even a gap of space between these two. There's like three inches here, maybe, and maybe an inch over here, maybe three inches over here. So this whole social distancing thing, quote unquote, they're not even following it, A. Notice that all six men have no masks on. This is March 20, what, 7th? At this point, the masks were already like a thing. There's no gloves, no mask, no social distancing, right? It gets even better. So he's signing this away, signing our kids' future dollars away. He signs it. Now look, he hands a pen to one of the guys. Another one, another one. He hands him something, hands him something. Hands him something. Right? Most people and most... They're shaking hands with each other and laughing 
knowing what they're doing, how evil they are. Just like this one. These politicians. Now, if coronavirus was that deadly, would these six old men, right? They fit the stereotype that literally says they would be the first to go. All six of them are old, are old, uh, above 60, okay, to my knowledge as of right now. Um, they're all over 60, and yet they're all within inches of each other. They're shaking hands, they're sharing pens, and this virus is just so bad. We shut everything down to sign this corporate bailout. You know, you just got to pay attention. Take the Republican and Democrat part out of it, okay? And then we'll go over here. This is the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, the lesbian. Listen to this woman, if you can even call her that. And pay attention, because there's a spiritual battle going on here, too. Goes to a party. What you're doing is putting yourself in danger putting in others in danger and making this crisis Look. harder and longer and more difficult for us to control and contain. We all need to be thinking about that? the long game. And having these parties when we need people to continue to stay at home is just silly. What's it going to mean? It's going to mean that we're never getting out of this. Your actions are going to make a difference between whether or not we get out sooner or later, whether or not we have a summer or we do not. So it is absolutely essential that we stay the course and people stay home. Now we know the heroes in our communities are doing exactly what they need to do. And even going a step further and telling us where some of these parties are actually happening. And we commend the people who are stepping up and recognizing that they have a responsibility and that we all have a responsibility. Now, I've directed Superintendent Brown to order all police districts to give special attention to these parties. And this is how it's going to be. We will shut you down. We will cite you. And if we need to, we will arrest you and we will take you to jail. That is 100% against the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. This is tyranny. And it's happening from the president down. I mean, whether they're Democrat or Republican, so whatever is going on and whoever controls these people, they're all in the same boat. Whether it's, you know, this thing right here or Trump, you know, I and I was kind of for Trump. But he, he kind of gave me a little bit of hope that, you know, they're not all going to. That polit not all politicians are evil, but I'm I'm back to my old self. This lady Laura Lightfoot is a complete hypocrite, cause she was just found getting her hair done and then said, "Oh, I'm out because I'm a public figure and I have to look good," which not so much, right? Getting that done on top of her head, but she's telling you we will lock you up for doing. What you want with people who you know on your property. This is not America. This is not what we grew up with. It, even in the 90s, it was more free than this. We had H1N1. We had AIDS. We had fucking the Spanish flu. We never locked anything down. And here we stand years later. Stronger from it. I'm, I'm trying to rally up the up, up some folks. I want, I want people to wake up. We need to start living. And remember that God in heaven... Gave us our rights. There should be nothing. Not not man and not whatever that is. They don't give us rights. Wake up, folks. Not ambiguous about that. Don't make us treat you like a criminal. Don't make us treat you like a criminal. So you're not worried about catching something. You have faith, like myself, that you're not going to catch it. And, you know, your family... Is having a get together that was pre-planned months ahead of time, a family reunion. Don't let that tell you you can't do that because it's your choice ultimately. It's not about people's safety and all that. If people are that afraid of catching something, they can stay their ass in the house. 
right? They don't, you don't make laws for everyone to stay locked up like a slave. I just want to show this to you guys. Like, this is Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Then there's Trump uh, in the video I just showed signing this thing. And I'm going to keep making videos exposing these people. There are a bunch of crooks, a bunch of liars. CVID is so bad that the last 20 press conferences I've seen, they're not wearing masks. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's 20 people in some of these press conferences, like right behind whoever's talking, and there, none of them have masks or gloves on. You got to wake up, folks. Under God, I love you all. Amen.